got this working. Is this thing on? I think, it, wow. Okay, hold on one second, please. Uh, there we go. I, I think, I think that's it. Uh, I, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, hold on one minute. Uh, okay, yeah, I, it's going now. All right, I got it working. Uh, <clears throat> Hello, uh, you, have you seen uh, Pastor Jeff around? He, he's not here yet, good. All right, good, because I I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I haven't been on the show lately, and uh, uh, he hasn't called me, hasn't contacted me in any way to ask me to be on the show, so I began to wonder why, and uh, I began to ponder this question overnight. I, I can't sleep tossing and turning and, and thinking about it. I watched the show, and I came up with the answer. It, it, it's like staring me right in the face. Puppets! That's what happened. Puppets. Pastor Jeff is about having tons of puppets everywhere, every week. Every Who is this Jimmy? Seriously. I mean, he, Jimmy's better than me. I mean, come on. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so I, I began to think that maybe if, if he's only having puppets on the show, the only way for me to be on the show is for me to be a puppet. So behold! The, the puppetinator, that's right, this is my baby, I made him myself. Mwah. Yeah. Hi, a little dusty. <laughs> anyway, I made this thing, and you ask what it might do. Well, it turns you, or me in this case, into a puppet. And when that happens, when I become a puppet, Pastor Jeff can't say no for me being on the show. So, this is my ticket back on. <laughs> yeah, well, enough of the dialoguing. It's, it's, it's time to try this baby out. Give it a whirl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, maybe I should say a few words. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this is uh, one small step for an Ed, one giant leap for an Ed Kind. That works. I like that. Let's just stick with that one for a while. <laughs> Here we go. Going in. This whole thing. Oh, I got loose wires in here. I gotta watch out. I'm getting shocked. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> well, it tickles. It tickles. Ow, 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 oh, no, birds. Not birds. Oh, oh, back to tickling again. <laughs> uh. Did it work? I, I think it worked. I can't believe it actually worked. That's it just got flipped. Look, look, why am I green? What is this arm thing attached? But I don't care. I'm a puppet. Pastor Jeff's gonna be going nuts. Yeah, now he can't say no to be me on the show. I'm gonna be on the show, cause I'm a puppet. I'm gonna be on the show, cause I'm a puppet. Ha. I want a pizza with anchovies on the side. On the side. He, he's coming. Oh, I'm gonna have some fun with this. <laughs> I said, I want a pizza with anchovies on the side, on the... What in the world is that? Pastor Jeff! Ed? Ed, is that you? Are you here, Ed? Ed? Psst, Pastor Jeff! Ed? Ed? Where are you, Ed? Pastor Jeff! Ed? Here I am! <laughs> Ed, Ed? Pastor Jeff, why? Ed, is that you? In the felt! Ha! What happened to you? I'm a puppet. You're a puppet? How? Well, thanks to my puppetinator. Your puppa yeah. what? My puppetinator, I invented this thing. Uh, so you did this to yourself? Yep. Why? So you let me back on the show, Pastor Jeff. What? Don't you think I noticed you only had puppets on the show lately? Well, yeah, Jimmy was here for helping with the teaching a couple weeks. And his mother? Yeah, well, that wasn't planned. So I thought, if I could be a puppet, then there's nothing stopping you from bringing me back. But I was already going to invite you back to the show. W what? Yeah, didn't, didn't you see my email? Wait... N no? Yeah, I was going to have you help me with the teaching. We're starting a brand new series called Growing Up to Be Like Jesus. What? You, 
You, you did? I, I didn't see it. Wait, wait you, you mean to tell me I turned myself into a puppet for no reason? Uh, it looks like it. Can you change yourself back? Pastor Jeff, this is a, a puppetinator, not a humaninator. Oh. oh. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I'm stuck as a puppet. Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down. I'm calm stuck down. as a puppet. Calm I'm down. not gonna do calm anything. Down. Look at Ed, me. Ed, Ed, Ed. Shh. I love you, but I don't have time right now to help you with this. Hands for him is about to come out and do worship. Hands for him? Oh boy, I love hands for They're my best friends. Ah, here we go. Um, Ed? Yeah. You remember when you were a human what I said to you about worship? Uh, you, you said to, uh... You, you want me to get off the stage, don't you? Mm-hmm. I don't understand. Even as a puppet, he wants me off the stage. I just can't stay. Fine. I'll leave. I don't understand. That's Every okay. single time, it just keeps happening. Boys just... and girls, are you ready to worship? So get up off your seat, get on your feet, and let's get ready to praise Him!
Everything I do, everywhere I move Let your love shine through so all the world can see It's taking over me Let me be a reflection of your truth In turn and girls, wasn't worship great? I was going to have Ed help me with the teaching today, but... Oh, I'm going to pop it! I don't want to be a puppet anymore! I wanna... <laughs> but unfortunately, Ed is dealing with something, so we'll just move on to the teaching. So let's get ready. Hey, good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to a brand new series called Growing Up to Be Like Jesus. And that's what we're going to talk about in this series, Growing. Did you know that everything in life grows? Think about it. Plants and trees grow, animals grow, our bodies grow, our minds grow, and you know what? We can grow up spiritually too. God wants us to grow up to be just like him. In fact, the Bible says so. It says in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 15, it says, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, or more and more like Jesus. When you ask Jesus into your life, which we just learned in our last series, that's just the beginning. That's not the end. God doesn't want you to stay that way. Just like you grow from a child to adult, God wants you to do the same thing spiritually. He wants you to grow up to be more and more like him. And not only do you grow your body, and not only do you grow your mind, but God says you also grow your spirit. Did you know that you have a spirit? You do. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 23, the Bible says this. Now may God himself, the God of peace, his, the God of peace make you pure, belonging only to him. And may your whole self, your spirit, your soul, and your body be kept safe without fault when our Lord Jesus Christ comes again. See, the Bible says that you're made up of three parts. You are a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. With your body, that's the part that contacts this physical world. It's what you see, it's what you hear, it's what you smell, it's what you touch. When you do this, that's contacting the physical world because you can hear it and you can feel it. All right? Then you have a soul, which is your mind and your will. 
and your emotions. And with that's where you contact your thinking and the intellectual realm. But you also have a third part that God talks about called the spirit. And that's the part that connects with God. The Bible says in John 4, 24 that God is a spirit. And it tells us in John chapter 3 that we are spirits too. Another way to say spirit is to say heart. Your heart or your inner person is your spirit. And that this is the part of you that when you ask Jesus into your life becomes born again. In fact, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says that. It says if anyone belongs to Jesus or has invited Jesus into their life, they are a new creature. The old things have passed away and everything new has come. This is the new you. The spirit is inside you. You see, your body is the house that the real you, your spirit man, lives inside. And your spirit's invisible. You cannot see it. 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 4 says this, but let it be the hidden man of the heart. You see, your spirit lives inside your body and you can't see it. Think of it like this way. All of us have seen astronauts floating out in space, right? They're floating up there. And when you look at an astronaut, that's not the person inside. That's the spacesuit. If you thought this was the person, they would be bald with no hair. They'd have one big eye and they would be orange and white and have a pack on their back. Well, that's not what people are. Inside the spacesuit is a person. And that's what it is to have a spirit. This is your physical body, but inside your physical body is the spiritual you, the real you. And yes, it looks just like you on the inside, but it's inside you. And that is with you forever. You see, someday your body's going to get tired and wear out, but your spirit lives on forever. And when it does, when you've asked Jesus Christ into your life to be your Lord and Savior, when your body wears out, your spirit will go on to heaven to be with Jesus. Isn't that cool? That's the great stuff. So here's the deal. Your spirit man can grow just like your body and your soul does. You see, our body eats food, right? To grow. We eat tomatoes and vegetables. We eat things to grow. And our bodies and, and our minds, we feed them knowledge so they'll grow. But did you know that your spirit grows too? It grows by feeding God's word. That's how your spirit's going to grow. But it's not just enough just to read God's word. Think of it this way. If you went to a restaurant and picked up a menu and began to read it, that's great, but you're never going to eat any food by reading just the menu, right? You're reading it, you're understanding it, but it's not going to cause you to be full. You have to order the food, the food has to come to your table, and then you have to take that food and put it into your mouth. Now you're eating it. Well, the Bible is kind of the same thing. The Bible says that reading is good. Reading the Bible is good. But it's reading and doing the Bible that is better. It's feeding your spirit God's word by not just seeing it with your eyes and hearing it with your mind and speaking it with your mouth, but acting it out with your life. It's kind of like, you ever play baseball? It's kind of like if you played baseball and somebody for the first time showed you a bat and said, here is a bat. And you picked it up and you kind of tried to figure out what you, and you went one swing like that. You said, okay, I now know how to hit, now I know how to hit a ball. I can do it. Well, no, you really can't. Because this isn't going to get it done. You have to practice doing it again and again and again. And as you practice, guess what? You'll get good at hitting a baseball. And the same thing is true about feeding your spirit the word of God. As you read the Bible and do it again and again and again, you're not just feeding, but you're practicing or exercising your spiritual muscles and you're getting stronger and bigger. And as you do that, guess what? You're going to grow. So think of it this way. Ephesians 4.32 says, be kind to one another. You read that scripture and say, okay, I'm going to practice that today. So every chance you get, you look for opportunities to be kind. Whether it's at home, at school, on the playground, on the bus, you look for opportunities to be kind. Or you read in the Bible, James 5.16, that says, pray for one another. And then you're looking for opportunities all day long to pray for other people. Maybe out loud, maybe just to yourself, but you're saying, God, I want to get better at this. You see, it's as you feed yourself the word of God and exercise and practice, it's as you do those things that you will grow because you're not just hearing it, reading it, 
but you're taking it into you and you're learning. And so in this series, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to feed our spiritual man so we can grow up to be spiritual adults and be just like Jesus. So remember, our big answer this week is we grow spiritually by feeding and doing God's word. As we always say around here, stay safe, be well, know that we love you very, very much, and Jesus loves you most of all. God bless. Thank you.